The Mauna Loa volcano, rising more than 4,000 meters on Hawaii's Big Island, is awake after a 38-year sleep. You can see the waves of orange glowing lava better at night and more of the smoky ash during the day. State officials are warning the 200,000 residents on the island's largest city, Hilo, to be wary of lava flows that can suddenly change and cautioning them to avoid outdoor activity because of the ash that can damage lungs. But so far, no one is seriously threatened by any of it. Years of preparation have helped. Whether it's a, an earthquake, whether it's uh, rain events or, or you know, um, volcanic er eruption, we're continuously preparing. But in this event, we went out a couple of months prior and started getting the warnings to get everybody in place. Spectators have an impressive view. Lava is shooting 30 to 60 meters into the air from three different fissures that are estimated to be two to three kilometers long. The lava is moving slowly, and it could take weeks to arrive at any doorsteps, if it does at all. There's also a nearby lava lake, simultaneously pushing out lava, but the state is, for now, welcoming visitors and is happy to invoke the mythological goddess, Pele, revered as Hawaii's creator of volcanoes. This is a wonderful eruption. This is a rare time where we have two eruptions happening simultaneously. Uh, this is more than a spectacle um, to the people of Hawaii and to many others. This is a very sacred event that we are watching. We are watching Pele come to life to uh, do a dual eruption. So this, uh, just keep in mind for many people coming here to pay their respects, this is quite a sacred event. If this eruption follows historical patterns, Mauna Loa will stop spewing lava after one or two weeks. The last time it erupted in 1984, its lava crept dangerously close to Hilo. Authorities hope Pele will keep this eruption in check as well. Nathan Elliott, TRT World.